It all started four years ago. 24-year-old British marathon runner Luke Grenfell Shaw felt a persistent ache in his left shoulder. Doctors told him he had cancer, a very rare and aggressive sarcoma. The treatment was painful, yet Luke was determined to live to the fullest while undergoing chemotherapy. Born into a loving and supportive family, the young athlete slowly pulled through and found the strength to continue his adventures. Halfway through the chemotherapy, he finished the Bristol Half Marathon in 1 hour, 20 minutes and 8 seconds, and he cast his eyes farther away. He launched the Bristol to Beijing from Bristol, England, all the way to Beijing, China, to raise awareness about cancer. The journey was around 30,000 kilometers, and he crossed nearly 30 countries and regions through all kinds of landscape and weather, from snowfield to grassland. During this odyssey, Cancer patients from other countries joined him, telling the world that they can live with this condition. It was a school of hard knocks, but Luke has learned to live for today and let the future take care of itself. But at that time, the dream remained unfulfilled due to COVID-19 restrictions. But now, with China lifting the barriers on traveling, as many people are resuming their dreams and their traveling schedules, will Luke too finally realize his? Luke, welcome back to the Hub on CGTN. So good to see you again. Angwon, it's awesome to be here and um, Happy New Year. Happy Lunar New Year. I know you cycled through the Eurasia continent. You couldn't come over here to China to finish your, your journey, your dream due to COVID. And now China, of course, reopened its borders by lifting virtually all of its travel restrictions. Um, how do you feel about all this? It's a great question. Um, actually, what I want to do is something a bit different. Uh, because what I want to do now is have the focus being China. Before China was the endpoint and the destination, well, now China is is going to be the real focus of the trip. I can go through, you know, Shenzhen, Yunnan, Sichuan, so many different cities, and um, finish in Beijing. So for me, this will now be an exploration through so much more of China rather than simply trying to get to Beijing. You know, Luke, when you first started the cycling journey uh, in 2020, you attracted over 800 followers. I mean, for real, right? Not followers on Instagram, but real followers following you through this, throughout this journey. Uh, how did you make that happen? Yeah, so that's one of the really special things about this trip is that it's on a tandem bike. So it's on a two-person bike. And so these followers, as you say, they're people who literally joined me on the back of my bike and cycled with me. And the reason for that is because when I was diagnosed with cancer and I had this dream of cycling from Bristol to Beijing, uh, I was going to do that with my brother, my brother, John. And he he died. He had a mountaineering accident and he died um, yeah, before the start of the trip. And so I wanted to be able to share this journey with people that I met along the way. And so for me, an integral part of this trip has always been about bringing other people on board. And so, yeah, the followers, yes, there's there's Instagram and there'll be Little Red Book and there'll be WeChat. But like the real followers are the people that I meet on the ground. And that's what I'm really hoping to do in China is bring so many people on the bike with me. And that's why I want to be cycling in Beijing um, and bringing as many people as I can to sort of celebrate life.